have the students come all of them. Hello, Nick. How are you? Paul Studio is working. <laughs> I'm sorry for coming late, Paul. <coughs> you make up in front. I was really very happy to learn that Sussex University Sahaja Yoga Centre has been very kind to invite me to speak to them. It's such a pleasure to talk to the students because they are the ones who have been always in any country been responsible for any new step whether it was political, economic or social, which was to be taken boldly. Students are the people who have their idealism intact still. And when they are studying, they don't get biased easily. They keep their minds open to every knowledge because they are new to it. But those who become experts can become very biased, very conditioned by what they read or what they think to be right. But the students can be also very much vulnerable because they do not know whether whatever new comes to them is the truth or some sort of a falsehood. So at this life, when you are a student, you have to be very careful to understand that if you have to seek the truth, you have to be alert about it. First and foremost thing, as students we enter into a university. It's a beautiful name, university, meaning that you get all the knowledge of the universe here. And when you enter into the university, you come with an open mind, with an understanding that whatever you have to learn, you have to learn in a way as if you are a student and you are not the teacher. And that humility always helps the students to learn anything that they want to know about, about any part of their knowledge. Now what you learn in the university is the knowledge of the tree, knowledge that you can perceive and understand through your mental activity. But what I'm going to tell you about today is the knowledge of the roots, roots of the tree, from where the whole knowledge comes in. Now to believe in me or to understand me, it is not necessary for you to have any uh, sort of a faith in me or a surrendering position. But you must also know that if I have to tell you something new, you must keep your mind open to understand what I have to tell you. When we study, say, economics, take a subject 
which is very common these days, and it is even regarded as a higher science than philosophy. What do we learn? The essence of economics is very simple. That wants, in particular, are satiable, but in general, wants are not satiable. This is the essence of surgery, uh, essence of surgery of ours. Like, whatever you want to have, you can have today, and tomorrow you will run after another thing. That's why we have economics because this is the tendency of human mind. But why it is so? Why is it? We want, we really strive, supposing you are doing your graduation, you will strive your heart to be a graduate, but you won't be satisfied. You'd like to do higher studies, or you may like to take up a job, and even if you get a job, you'll not be satisfied. Then you want to build a house, then you want to have a car, then you want to have, uh, students want to have a nice bike, all right. When they have it, they want to have something else, you say, a helicopter maybe, I don't know what. But it goes on increasing. You're never happy with what you have, fully satisfied. Now the reason for that, you can find it in <coughs> surgery. Because the roots are deeper down, which we do not know. It's all right to build up the whole science of economics on something. But what about the roots that have created this big tree of economics? The roots are that none of these material things are going to give us full satisfaction. This is the root of it. So what is going to give us that satisfaction? We come to the second logical question. What is the need of a human being to feel satisfied? There is something higher, something deeper, something that we have missed. This is definite. Now, what is that? We can refer, if you are not so much uh, upset or angry, or we can say biased about the scriptures, any scripture. I am not saying Bible or say Torah or uh, say Indian scriptures or Buddha sayings or Tao or anything, you will find one common thing they have said. All of them have said one thing common, and that is that you are to be born again. You have to know your spirit. You have to become the spirit. Because that lacking in us, in our awareness, because we are not yet the spirit, Whatever we know without it is only the mental projection, which is limited, as our mind is limited. So to know the unlimited, or to know the roots, you have to become the spirit. This is the first condition they have given. Now if you just don't deny them, we should look into it, that we have to become the spirit. Now what is that? What is that within us, which is the spirit? If there is something like spirit within us, we have not yet felt it. We have never felt the spirit within us. And what is that spirit? And what does it do? What are its qualities? We should try to find out. And that's what you can find out when you become the spirit. It's a vicious circle. It's the other way now. Here nobody will say that you must become a graduate to know about economics. But in the other way around thing, you have to deep, go deep down into the roots. And how do you do that? Supposing I say you pay attention to yourself. A teacher will say, pay attention. So all the students will start looking at him, looking at the blackboard. But I say, pay attention to yourself. Then you will say, mother, how do you do it? It's an impossible thing. How do we take our attention inside? It's all the time outside moving. How are we to take it inside? That's why you have to get your realization first. You have to become the spirit by which you can take your attention inside to your roots. That's why the first condition in the Sahaja Yoga system is that we have to become the spirit. Before that, whatever I say, you will say, how is it true? You can always challenge. You can always say it may not be true, it may be wrong, it may be false, it's true. Because supposing you 
I have no eyes and you start telling me about the colors, how will I know? So anybody would say that open your eyes first of all. Unless and until you open your eyes, you won't be able to understand what I am talking about. In the same way, we have to understand that if we have to know about the roots, we have to penetrate within, for that we have to become subtler than what we are. We are at a level from which we cannot enter inside ourselves. So we have to become something else and that becoming is only possible if you become the spirit. I hope I am clear on that point. Now, how to become the spirit is the problem. Because whenever a teacher tells you do this, you said how? That's correct. I mean, logically, that's what should be the question. How do we become the spirit? Now, if I say that this is our evolutionary process, we have evolved as human beings, come up to this stage and if something more has to happen, it has to happen the same way as evolution has taken place, automatically. What did we do to become human beings from monkeys, if we have become from monkeys? I don't think anybody remembers anything they have done to become human beings or they have put in any effort to be that. We have done nothing. We have just become human beings spontaneously or we can say automatically. But actually this spontaneity relates to a living process. Only living things are spontaneous. Like you want to sprout a seed, you have to just put it in the Mother Earth, spontaneously it sprouts. We don't do anything to it. We don't stand on our heads, we don't read any book, we don't say anything to the seed, but it sprouts because it is built in within the seed, the quality to become the tree. In the same way it is built in within you to become the spirit. As you have become a human being, you have to become the spirit. That's the evolutionary natural process to which you have to take. Now, if you get just satisfied with whatever state you are in as a human being, you can live, not impossible. I mean, you can while away your time, you can carry on, but still you will not be a satisfied person. You will not be a blissful person. You will not be a person who can be called as a person who has become an absolute personality. Still you will be living in the relative world because of this mental activity which is going on, which will confuse you completely all the time. You would not know whether this is good or that is good. Like these days in England we have a big confusion whether to vote Labour or Conservative or this. We don't know which one to vote. So we'll close our eyes, all right, whichever I catch I will vote. We don't know what to do. This stage will go away because we haven't reached that state of absoluteness where we can decide things with absolute authority. This is the thing. This is the right thing. Once we understand the state that lies within us, then what do we do? We know what is right and what is wrong. And right can be only one thing. There cannot be any difference of opinion as to what is right and what is wrong if you do it with your absolute awareness. But human awareness is not absolute. If it was so, there would have been no problem. There would not have been any necessity to have this MX authorized or have this atom bomb produced there. And All human beings are the only animals that are doing like this, you see. You don't find any dogs creating any atom bombs or anything to kill each other, but this is special human uh, failure to show that we are not at an absolute point where we all agree. So how to achieve that is the second point. Again I said it is spontaneous, it's a living process and you don't have to worry about it, it's all built in within yourself. I don't know if they have put any, they haven't put any. Now, so how many of you have come for the first time for Sahaja Yoga meeting?
How many of you have come for the first time? Let's see. One, two, three, four, and five. All right. The rest of you have been to Sahaja Yoga meeting, so you know about Kundalini, you know the awakening of the Kundalini and all those things. Now we have within ourselves, you see, this power by which it is going to happen to us. This is the power of pure desire, of pure desire within us. Because so far as we have seen, all our desires that we have cannot satisfy us. So there must be some desire within us which leads us to completion or to the fulfillment of our ultimate desire to be the Spirit. And this power lies in the triangular bone, in the lower part, the lowest part of your medulla oblongata or you can say the spinal cord. Now this lies there or not, whether it exists or not, whether I'm telling you is correct or not, is to be found out. You should not just challenge it. You should see for yourself that sometimes in some people, there are many who have seen it here, you can see the pulsation of this power if there is an obstruction in this person and the awakened Kundalini cannot rise. You can see with your naked eye absolutely with naked eyes, a pulsation just like a heartbeat. In some people it is so vigorous that you are amazed that this bone behaves, this triangular bone behaves like a heart beating. Surprisingly this bone is called a sacrum and sacrum in the Greek language means sacred. Of course for all our knowledge, sacred work is only in the dictionary. We don't know what is sacredness is, what divinity is, what auspiciousness is. Thank God there are words, but we don't know what it is supposed to be. Now this they call as a sacred bone. And I was amazed. And I asked them, I said, why did you call this as a sacred bone when I went to Greece? And I was even more amazed to find out that they knew a lot about this knowledge. And they told me that they had a report with Indians, with great philosophers of India, who came down and told them all about it. And they had this practice with them. Even the knowledge of their uh, medical science was very much based on those ideas. Even in England, when you had your medical science first, you'd be amazed, the medical science, the basis of it was the same as Sahaja Yoga system, that they had three types of human beings and they are to be treated that way. But then suddenly, I don't know from where, we started curing, not through the roots, but through the leaves, you see. If there's a leaf, something wrong with the leaf, you treat the leaf. And then you find some trouble somewhere in the fruit, you see. It's like that. So the medical science became like that, absolutely treating the leaves and uh, roots were left behind. Now these roots are within you. They are there all the time. You are not aware of them. You are not aware of so many things within yourself. But once you become aware of them, as you get your realization, as I call you, as you get your spirit, manifesting in your attention, in your central nervous system, when you start feeling the vibrations of the spirit flowing, then you can understand all about them. And whatever I'm saying today here to you, you can verify it and can find out. To give you a simple example is that when you have to go to a class of histology, you have to use a microscope. Now you say that I won't use the microscope and I would like to see the skin under the, uh, just with my naked eyes, you cannot. What you'll see is the skin that is there. But if you have to see the deeper structure of the skin, you have to use a microscope. In the same way, if you have to see the deeper side of life, you have to use the microscope of your spirit. 
without the spirit you cannot understand what is beneath and what is above beneath is your beautiful being the glorious human being that is created by god and above is the all pervading power of love of god almighty may god bless you i would like to have questions from you that would be better than to talk about it because i must have given i don't know how many thousand lectures so far and there's no end to it because this is a vast knowledge even if you have thousand universities like that i don't think it can be completed but it's so simple that once you become that i don't have to tell you much like this room that you have done if i have to explain about it to someone i can write a book on this you see still they won't understand anything and they'll come here and will never recognize if this is the book i have told them about but if you just open your eyes and come here you see for yourself and you know for definite this is the place you have to be that's what it is when you become you don't have to know all about it you just become that may god bless you i would like you to ask me questions that would be much better what do you say jason all right thank you hame zara pani dilwa dijiye Yes, please. Yeah, if you um, if you really tie so much to being sticky, somehow trapped within this boat. I mean, is that where it's located, or or is there some tie to physical? Ray, can you come here? Just Ray. No, no, it's all right. You sit down. Ray will tell me. Huh? Come on. Ah, uh, yes, yes. You j- what? Yeah. What did you say? Uh, <laughs> Now then you come here and you tell me how. Now you repeat it. All right. You tell him and he repeat it. <laughs> um, do you really believe it's tied physically to this bone in any way? This sacred bone or is it uh, just where it happens to be located? And, yes. and and if it is tied physically to this bone, what about the poor unfortunate who for some reason or another may have lost it? <laughs> what did he say? Is the energy tied uh, physically to this bone? the triangular bone no, no 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 and what happens if he says uh, and what happens to the poor unfortunate people who might have lost it the bone because i don't i've never heard anyone lose it. i don't think anybody has lost it so far except that devils you see uh, except that devils you see Demonic. uh <coughs> it's not uh, lost easily and i would say that uh, that uh, just now we should worry about ourselves isn't it so we can help others so we can help so many if we are not equipped how can we help others first we should equip ourselves then we'll think about others i'm happy i'm happy you have thought for others that's a good sign of generosity but we must have something within ourselves to give isn't it well i'm just curious about all these diagrams i see associated with these chakras and things i mean there are people born who don't got one arm for example i see say Oh, I see. He wants to know in what way the chakras and the uh, triangular bone sacrum is associated with the physical body. And he says if somebody is born with one arm, um, what what oh, is their chakra? Yes, yes. No, you see, even if you are chakras are not normally help uh, hurt because they are very much placed inside the inner core of the uh, what you call the. of medulla oblongata they are very subtle things they are not harmed easily and they cannot be harmed but it can be as you said possible that a person who has no backbone but such a person doesn't exist i don't see one or something like that it can be i have seen people who have crooked uh, crooked ones they have all right they they get their things straightened and it can work out with them but with the, without a backbone we don't exist and well, so they are there Huh? No, you should see the diagram. That's just where it is. Yes, it's not just there. No, you see now. I would say that it's a subtle thing, and it's an energy. You see, 
it's an energy center. And it may be, in your case, it may be just on the borderline, supposing on the lumbar area, it may move out with another one. No, I mean, so that is not so important. What is important is just now, you see, instead of going into details, first we must get our realization, and then gradually you will be able to locate everybody's centers where they are. Because they pulsate and you can see with your own eyes. And is, I mean, when you say you can see them with your own eyes, that's it. He said, if you see them with your own eyes, presumably you can't photograph them. Well, we have photographed us. We have. We have photographed, we've got films, everything we have done. But as I told you, that every person has a different style of awakening in the sense that in some people, like a little child, or say a person who is simple-hearted, say from a village, where he is not so complicated, I mean, who doesn't think too much. You see, this chakra goes out if you think too much, or sort of obstructions like that. Then, such a person, it, he takes, in a split of a second, the whole thing moves out, really, like a jet. But in a person who is little complicated, or who has a disease, or who is physically handicapped, or any sort of a thing like that, then it takes time, and then it pulsates much more in those places where they have a problem. So it depends on, so you cannot say that now, supposing you say that you take my photograph, it may not be there. So we have, of course, taken photographs, we've got films of that, everything. But on some people we have seen. Not all, because you don't keep a camera there any time to take the photograph, but we have taken. We have, we can take photographs, all right, we can, no doubt. Uh, well, I mean, presumably there's nothing, uh, presumably the camera's fairly impartial, so you're saying if you can find someone you can take a photograph of, there's a good chance you can do it again. That's easy. He says uh, the camera is impartial, so presumably if you find one person who has this throbbing, mm -hmm. you can do it again. But surely, Mother, could, could you also mention to him that the Kundalini only throbs like that if there's a problem now? Is it right? Yeah. What do you want to achieve by that? You see, let's see. What's the achievement? Well, now, you see, what, we should not sidetrack. It's a very important issue, but we should not sidetrack. So, all right, keep it to the main point is what do we want to do? Why? Why do we want to? You see, the trouble is we would not like to do anything wasteful naturally. Why should we do anything wasteful for nothing at all, isn't it? What we would like to do, whatever is achieved easily for the good of everyone without much difficulty. All right. So now, to take a photograph, this, that, and all this kind of a thing is not necessary. There is no need to do it. But we have taken photographs. See, no doubt we have taken. Because, you see, many a times I have many photographers with me and many people with a, a movie sort of a camera going on. When they are interested, they have taken photographs, it's all right. But it's not worth anything. I mean, it's of no use as it is for our purpose. There's no need to take a photograph. But just we have taken, we have got it. And now as your question moves further with it, that if somebody has a pulsation, you, it may disappear after five minutes. It may not be there. It's just there for the time being. Because if the Kundalini is rising, it is moving upward, you see. So it may not be there. It may reach another point or it may just come out from here. All right. We, we should. You should ask me questions which has some, some advantage. You see, to you and to me both. Because you see, this is of no meaning that we should take a photograph. Then we should do this. There's no need to do that. There's, what is the need? Well, there's no need for you hmm. to do it. Hmm. it? Our hmm. thoughts, no, we have, but but somehow we have. I would have thought that if you believed um, through true awakening that people may. Um, Realize the utility of sort of uh, desiring material things, that uh, it was the sort of thing you would like to uh, see established among as many people as possible. To which, uh, you know, to which your purpose. That's a good idea. We have got it, you see, we have got it, but you don't know. The media people want something, something bad to happen. They don't want anything good to be said that this is a way we can do things. I think so. Because they are not interested much in, in this country, not in other countries, but in this country. I don't think they are very much interested if I tell them that there is such and such power and that we have got a photograph and you can see for yourself and this happens and that cure, cancer can be. They are not interested. 
What to do? It's not well, easy. I, th I think on the contrary, most people would hmm. be, uh, if, if you could talk about this and then present them with a photograph, they would take far more notice than it. All right, so next time I give you the responsibility, you get, get them to me. They are terrible, you don't know. Uh, just, uh, I'll give you a simple example, all right? I don't want to talk against them. They are, after all, good people, but they don't see the point, see, that it is important. And uh, they just don't want to understand it. Simple thing, you see, they wanted to advertise me, all right? I'll give an example of these people, how their mind works. So, I didn't want to say much, but I just said one little sentence that England is the heart of the universe, which I can prove. And then I talked about William Blake, who said that such and such is going to happen and all that. Where he has used the word that England has to become Jerusalem. I mean, it's an honorable thing I said for them. So they raised an objection today only. That's how I was delayed. Saying that if you say that England is the heart of the universe, the Arabs will have objection. <laughs> you must understand, you see, you are a student, you must understand what sort of people surround us. And I didn't know what to say. I said, why will they have objection? Because they too have a place in the universe. But England, if it is the heart, I have to say that. But supposing, I mean, I am honoring you. And why should you not stand for your honor? I said, because if you, if you, in any case, you go to Falkland to save your honor there, and here if I say a simple truth which I know, you don't want to say that just in an advertisement because the Arabs may catch it and they may disappear from Harrods, see? <laughs> <laughs> so that's our media, must understand. It's not so simple as you think. I'll be very happy if you can get me some of them. It's not easy. They're very difficult people. Very difficult. If you were prepared to say that England is the centre of the universe, are you prepared to say anything about uh, life in this last way? Well, about yes, and I'm prepared to say, and I'm, I'm not only that, but I can prove it. I can prove it also. But it's a, such a simple sentence. It's a simple sentence. But I am regarded as a saint in India, a well-known saint is saying that. One should take it as an honor. Mm -hmm. But that's not so. That's not so with people, you see. In here it is, I think the saints, they don't take the saints seriously in England, perhaps, maybe. But Arabs are taken more seriously, I must say. Surprising, you know. How can Arabs take an objection to such a thing? I can't understand, but this is exactly is the problem today I was facing. So I think you are a student, still you don't know the reality, <laughs> what these people are like. But one day you will realize. I'm very happy your attention is on that. I, I hope so it works out that way. Then we can show them pictures and everything, all right? Now, what else? It had only one purpose that I could explain to it better to you because I, I didn't know what to say to these people the way they came out with Jerusalem, objection to Jerusalem, that uh, he said it. Now, after all, if William Blake, they said, uh, yes, if he has said it, but now we can criticize him because Arabs don't like it. Is it that, that the way to look at things? Is, are the Arabs going to decide for us everything? What's it say? He said, would you be prepared to make any comments on life on other planets? No, there isn't any. That's as simple as that. And even if there are, they are not the type of lives which you are used to, the different types of things, uh, which are different style of lives, which we cannot call them as life because our concept of life is different, and so we shouldn't call them, but as human beings, the awareness of human beings, there's no one. They are no one. But there is uh, something like life, you can call it, because in some places, maybe the matter is moving like life, but we are, according to the human conception, you would not call it life. And do you see any uh, distinction between uh, human life and other life on this planet? Human mind and? Human life and, uh, say, a dog. 
human, he says, is there any difference between humans and animal life? On this planet? Said, is what difference is there between humans and animal life on this planet? Difference? Yeah. Tremendous. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you one example. You take your dog through a dirty lane. He can pass through, you cannot. Thousand and one, thousand and one. There's such a difference between animals and human beings. Well, you were talking earlier about evolution, that's all. Mm. And, um, yes, you have evolved. You have evolved to human state, no doubt. But would you say at some stage in that evolutionary pro process, um, all, all life forms were much the same, and then some time later, there was a significantly different one? Which one? What's it? Just a. He said, in the course of evolution, would you say that all life forms were the same and then at one point um, we came like a different sort of life form, we suddenly came in? Is that what you meant? Yes. I mean, if you don't, if you don't accept that animals share the same sort of uh, divine aspect as we do now, do you accept the idea of evolution? didn't say that. No, no I actually didn't say that. Oh, okay. I, 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 I accept, that, I accept that animals are very different. Listen, what she said was that you can <laughs> go through... Um, I think you better write it down. Smell, it's getting can, confused. Can, pigs don't mind smelly styes with all the rubbish and no. stuff. Pigs don't mind the smell, and animals smell all sorts of things. But the, the humans have subtlety where they, yeah. they don't like certain dirty yeah, smells. See. That's what she meant. It's a, yeah, yeah, but that's true of animals. It's What's not. he saying? No, it doesn't uh, matter. You can't that's tell me that an animal does not discriminate on smell. No, it does discriminate, but it doesn't mind. He has, you see, he has different frequencies. You see, the, see, human beings are made in such a way they can exist as people who can think and can create. That's simple as that, you see. That's why they have developed these things. Supposing an animal feels the dirt or anything, he cannot remove it. But human beings can, she can create. See, this is the difference is, and that's why so many things that human beings have are only as an accessory to help adjust his life to his surroundings, all right? Yeah. But say, you take, I would say a horse, take a horse or a dog, they have a certain sensitivity, say, to an evil spirit. But human beings don't have that much sensitivity to it. So there are some birds, if they disappear from a part of Japan and all that, that people know that there is some sort of a rumbling going on in the Mother Earth and some earthquake is expected, so people also start departing from the birds, you see. There are so many birds, as you have heard, that they go from one place to another, from Siberia all the way to Australia. How do they do it? We can't do it. Because they have a magnet developed within them, which can feel, see, through which they go. So, of course, there are many things which are dropped out in human beings and many things that are added to him. But they are evolved because they can create. You can create. See, like an animal, and all that cannot create. That's the point is, differences. You would say this part of creativity is the distinguishing feature between human beings and other forms of life. It's taking the subject too away. Now it's not a... No, 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 just see now, you give others also chance, be civil. You have to give others chance to ask me questions, you've asked too many. Okay. And now, is it all right? Now, an evolution, we are not discussing an evolution at large. You see, it's not important. What is I'm saying that if you do not accept that you are evolved and animals, how can I argue it out? I mean, it's a fact. It's a fact. The evolution is correct. It's a fact, yes. You are a human being and you are definitely evolved than animals. You can organize yourself better, you can create better, you can think. They cannot think. Can I talk to animals? Can I tell them what I have to tell? No, not only that, but their kundalini is not there perfect as yet to be awakened. Now this is the last part of it. So that's not so important, all right? So let's see some other questions. Hmm? What's could, could I just, just possibly just tie down one small thing? I mean, if you believe there is a distinguishing feature between human beings and other forms of life, and you believe in evolution, then somewhere along the line, this distinguishing feature must have been brought in. 
Must be. <laughs> Feature must be what? This is the, the. He's trying to say it's. If human beings have evolved from animals, there must be something that was brought in to to make them distinguish them from other things. Yes, very true. There is the raising of the head. Sorry. The raising of the head. You see the way they have raised their body. It has changed the shape of their head. This is what. That's why you must learn surgery about it. How the shape of the brain has changed. What has happened that our attention has gone out. Everything you must know. That's very true. I agree on that point. Is that's that's the thing you have to learn. That's the part of surgery. Absolutely. What has changed human beings? First of all, they are given freedom. If you believe in God, they have given freedom to decide. Animals have no freedom. If it's a dog, it's a dog. It's a cat, it's a cat. The nature will remain the same. But human beings can be a Scorpio, could be a lion, could be a snake, could be anything. So the freedom that is given to human beings has made them higher. And they got this freedom in the expression when you raise your head like this. You see. A, also, some physical happenings take place within you, which, of course, I will tell you later on when you come to Sahaja Yoga meetings and all that. You will realize how God has given you freedom, and by freedom, what you developed is the ego within you, and that ego has covered your head, and you have developed the I-ness that you are Mr. X and Mr. Y and Mr. Z. That I-ness has come to you your own entity as Mr. X, Y, Z. And you are cut off much more from the divine power in the sense that now you are your own guide. The freedom is given for you to try the freedom. So are you saying then that evolution was carrying on in its merry way? Yeah. And then God decided at some peculiar time to pick on some peculiar... No, it's not. It is, it is up to you. Of course, it is up to you now to decide. You see, at this juncture, you have to decide. Sorry, sorry, don't, uh, don't. <laughs> at human level, you must decide what you want to do further. The decision. All right. Ah, yes. Um, you say that uh, the attainment of spirit is the attainment of the absolute but what actual steps can an individual take towards that attainment of the spirit? And is there only one way, or are there many ways? No, there's only one way of sprouting. Only one way. That is built in within us, you see. That's the only way it is. But if I, as an individual, want to attain that spirit, to look into myself, what yeah. should I do? I mean, what are the practical steps that any person can take That's it. towards... That's very nice to say that. That's what I we have to do, all right? But that I'll tell you, that's a good thing to ask. That is something nice and promising. All right? What else? Mother, how far can the intellect take us? Uh, huh? Can the intellect take us far enough? <laughs> can we understand it with the intellect? How can? You can't, you can't understand. You see, intellect can only tell you like I came here, it was written University of Sussex. All right, this is University of Sussex. But I have to enter in. This is like a signpost. With intellect, you can only know the signpost, but you have to enter in. Actually, you have to. supposing I give you a chocolate, all right? It's written Cadbury's. You read it, but you have to taste it. You have to experience it. There's a difference between the two. Just reading that mentally, Knowing that mentally is something like reading a signpost and experiencing it is entering into it. Intellect has its own limitations. Like we had to leave our car behind. It's beyond. It's the intellect of the intellect, you can say that. <laughs> but it's all poetry. You see, what I'm saying in reality, we should see what it is. So, should we come to your question? Is there any question anyone has? 
Now what's it you have been asking? How does the Kundalini rise when you are rising it? When you are rising it? How does it rise? It rises like that. All right? You've seen it? That's it. <laughs> Look at the child. <laughs> now, what are the questions? Any? Sajogis? Anyone? David? <laughs> Nothing? Ha! <Huh. laughs> Phil, what about you? Reaching the absolute zero, what about that? <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. So coming to his question, all right? It is, I can tell you in only in an analogy sort of thing because you see, when you have to understand something mentally, you have to use these worldly things to explain something divine. We can say that if there is a candle which is not enlightened, it cannot get enlightened by itself, but it is ready to be enlightened. It's ready to be enlightened. If you are ready to be enlightened, any enlightened light can enlighten you. But the enlightened light doesn't do anything except that you can say the most, it is a catalyst at the most, if you have to give any. But just it is ready, it's all there and just an enlightened light comes near the other one, it catches the light from that. It's as simple as that, to give an analogy. Or as I told you, that the seed, when you put it in the Mother Earth, because it is built in, it just sprouts, it's built in. But the process is that it has to be put in the Mother Earth. In the same way, it being a spontaneous thing and absolutely a living process, it works in a way that, supposing now you have somebody who is an enlightened light, say we say Ray has got enlightenment, say for example. Now if he wants, he can enlighten. Once you get enlightenment, you can enlighten another person. But Ray now knows what should be done to prepare first of all the candle, to get rid of the obstructions, how to enlighten and how to bring it to a full bright light. He knows all that. So there are three stages we can say. First is that you are to be awakened first of all the Kundalini. It has to be brought out of your head here so that the cool breeze of the Holy Ghost, you can feel it on your head. This is the second stage where you start feeling a cool breeze also in the hand. So many people don't feel in the beginning, in the hand. Also in the head they do not feel because uh, it's a very subtle thing. But if a Sahaja Yogi feels it, that means it has started, but in a very subtle way, then you must allow it to grow more and more and to it dispels all the obstructions on its way, gradually it becomes a steady light. And then and a Sahaja Yogi, any Sahaja Yogi can put it in such a way that you start feeling it in your hands also, it starts flowing in your hands. Because from the hands of the Sahaja Yogi, that power is flowing. And with that power he can handle the situation in such a way that your hand starts feeling it, flowing from your hand, flowing from here. Now, when it happens, suddenly, sometimes, it happens to people in a very sudden way, in a sudden rush also, because they have been seekers for ages, perhaps, maybe, whatever it is. But then they feel, oh, I feel very high, absolutely, on top of the world, I've become a witness now. And naturally, because it's a, such a change in you, see. But that's not the end of it, because you must know how to kindle it properly, to keep it going and all that. If you don't do that, say, it will again come down because you must learn how to keep it going, how to work it out. That's the part, it's the transition part through which you have to go. Some people take at the most eight days, some people take a month or so, but once you have done it, you become your own master. To give another analogy, very simple one, it's like this, when you are driving a car, there's a brake and there's an accelerator. 
Now, first you have to learn how to use. This is the freedom that is given to you, first of all, to learn how to use the brake and the accelerator, to take the car in a proper way, to keep it in the center the way it has to move. Then, once you have learnt it, what becomes that you automatically become a driver. Nobody has to tell you, now put the brake, now do this. You know it, automatically you develop it. This is the second stage of driving. Now the st third stage is that you really become an expert in that and that you drive without even knowledge that you are driving sort of a thing when you are perfect there. But still there's one more stage left, that there's a master sitting behind and who wants you to drive this way and that way and the master says that now stop the car, he's there. Now what happens that when you really become a Sahajogi is the point when you become the master and you start seeing the driver within you and the accelerator and the brake and you control as a master. That's the point you have to reach. So these are the four stages through which you have to pass which gradually works out just like your graduation without much difficulty for which you cannot pay. But you must have respect for yourself, you must know you can do it and you must have that understanding that you are a human being, the epitome of evolution and that you have to become the spirit. It works out. It works out very fast uh, these days and should work out in this university also, all right? But analogy should not be taken too far because this is divine. Uh, working and the divine working is such that we can't understand how it works in the beginning. If I tell you, you'll be amazed how it works. You see, if you'll say that, Mother, explain, I won't be able to explain to you so many things. It's tremendous. The divine power has all your communications and everything. It's tremendous. And in a split of a second, it works. It is to be seen for yourself. Now the time has come to prove the existence of God, to prove the existence of His divine power. For the first time you start feeling this subtle power when you get realization. You start feeling it in your hands as cool breeze of the Holy Ghost. First time. Otherwise you never feel anything. All right? Should we have it now? Mm -hmm. All right. That's good. Now, I would suggest all the new people should come in the front row would be better. And you shouldn't mind if the Sahaja Yogis have to just put a hand above it. They'll not touch you, but just to feel it. Doesn't matter. All right. Please come. Just all of you. Just. Just better? Better? Come along. Come. No harm. Oh, sit down, sit down. Take a chair, take a chair. Take a chair. Mm -hmm. Good. Now, what you have to do is just to put your hands like this. Why? Because these fingertips have got the representation of your centers here. These five, six and seven, they haven't brought the chart, but you can see later on, they'll give you books to see. These are five centers, six and seven centers that we have. So just put hands like this, just straight, put your feet on the Mother Earth, because the Mother Earth also helps us. Wide apart with your shoes. Everything helps us, like all the elements that are there can help us and we have to use. So now put your feet on the Mother Earth like this and put your hands like this and you have to close your eyes, that's all. Just close your eyes. Now don't try to control your attention at all. Keep your attention absolutely loose. You just don't worry as to where to keep the attention, what to think, what to do, nothing of the kind. Just leave it. You can keep your hands on your lap and sit very comfortably and it will work out. I'm sure it will work out for all of you.
you do should not open your eyes till I tell you. Keep your eyes shut. You can take out your glasses if possible. It will be a good idea. Take out your glasses. It helps the eyes also. Just keep them safe. Just keep them safe, that's all. Stretch your fingers a little bit towards me like that. Just stretch them, that's all. Mm. Mm. Gavin, can you get some surgeons to see that chakra? Right Swadhisthana is too much. I think you all put them from left to the right. Right Swadhisthana is too much. All of them have right Swadhisthana, right, we should be right now. Put them left to the right. That's the best way. Left to the right. Left to the right. Too much of right. All right, keep your eyes. Eh? Let's work out. Hmm. Those who have got it, you can ask them to put their hands and see, feel it, it's possible. Yes, got it. In the hand? Just see in the hand. Please don't feel guilty, any one of you. You should not feel guilty that I've done this wrong, that wrong. That's not going to help us at all, you see? Mm -hmm. Feel it with left hand. Right hand towards me. Just put your right hand. Hmm, better. Forgive. Forgive everyone. Forgive everyone. Just forgive. Got it. What about this gentleman? Ah. Navi. Let him put his right hand on his left hand on his liver. And the hand straight on me, towards me, it's rather. Liver, left to the right. Just don't think and just enjoy it. Those who have got should just enjoy it, don't think, don't think. All right? It's better, no? better, better. If you put him left to the right, you can do it, very much left to the right. She's all right? She's good. What, what? Coming up. Raise it, raise it and tie it up. She'll be all right. Hmm.
Na. Done. All right. Good. What about him? your hand on the heart. Not you, Esther. Ah. Still on the heart. Left to the right. Just left to the right. Left to the right. Ah, better? Ask him if he has done DM or something. Huh. That's it. Now. Coming up. Right Vishuddhi is too much. Right Vishuddhi. Put your hand on his right Vishuddhi. Closer to his neck. You see ya. Both the right Vishuddhi and liver. Hmm. That's what it is. Huh? Put his finger on Right Vishuddhi is all white, here from here to here. Hmm. T let him turn his head one side, it would be better. Let's just, let's see. Mm. The whole muscle is. Better now, better. Now. Ask him to ask the question of Buddha. No? Oh, you are all right. <laughs> good. What about this one? And he starts to feel it. Huh? He starts to feel it. Ah, great. I think Agya, if you remove the hair, I'll see his Agya is a little bit. Mm. Just. You know, I'll say Ikadasha is there. He's been to someone? Um, he used to take part in activities of the Golden Dawn. Huh? The Golden Dawn. What is that? It's um, good like a cult. Is it? Magical society. Freemason. What society? Magical. Magical, is it? That's why Ekadasha. Now you put your hand round his Ekadasha. Ekadasha is very bad, huh? Put him right to the left will be better. No, no, right to the left. Mm. He's good. You fix him up, he's good. Now what about him? Ask the question. Good. What about this lady? Where has she been? Ask her. Hypnosis. You were doing, or somebody else did it to you? Both. Both. Agya, at the back, you just give her a banana. Right to the left, right to the left. See her left hand is all blue.
Hmm, good. You got the answer. Now you will know everything, all right? It's easier for me to talk. He got it, she got it. Now, is it better? It feels like something's working out a lot here. Forehead. Mm. Ask the question of golden door. Keep your eyes open. Ask the question. Let's see if it works out. Put your hands towards me. Like this. Now ask a question in your heart. Really? Good. Okay. All right? Not in the hand, but on the head. It's clearing out. Let him, let him go on saying, sir, seven times at least. Eleven times, I'm sorry, eleven times. Hmm. She should keep her eyes open if she was hypnotizing. Tell her to keep. Just you try to hypnotize me now. Let's see. <laughs> All right, let's see. Now watch, watch me. Hmm. It's very dangerous, my child, to do all this. It's very dangerous. Ah, now, see, it's up there. All right? But you have to do something more, all right, to get a release. These are horrible things. You don't know how you hypnotize. Hmm? It's a horrible thing it is. What is she saying? She's saying, isn't, isn't the Kundalini something she has to, rear, has to rise herself? To do what? Something she can do herself. She yes, can. she can do also. But first of all, you have to become, no? You have not become that. How can you do? What will you do? Unless and until you become and you understand what it is, all right? But is it, I mean, someone else can make me become that, is it that? Yes, yes. Or is it that I have to myself? Now first you have to become through the help of somebody else, as I told you, the two lights, all right? One is an enlightened one and another is enlightening you. Then once you become, then you can enlighten others, all right? So you have to first become that fully. So they are just helping you, you see, helping your light to be there steadily. Is it flowing now in your hand? Nothing flowing? No. What's the matter? It was cold. Huh? Warm. Warm? You feeling anything warm? No, I've got a bad cold and I'm feeling bad. You have bad cold. Mm. That's all. Well, it will work out. Put both your legs like that. It will. It has to work out first of all. You have to become that. See? I mean, what do I have to feel? I don't know. You feel the cool breeze in the hand and cool breeze out of your head. So many of them fell. And did you have any guru or someone? No one. In this sense, but yes, who who is who is he? Well, he is supposed to be followers of Mahaprabhuji, but I mean he's not. Who who was Mahavira? Mahaprabhuji. Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhuji. Huh? Mahaprabhuji. Who is Mahaprabhu? From uh, Bengal? No, from UP. From the Mathura region. Huh? From the Mathra. Mathra? Mathra? He's not alive anymore. He, I mean, he's supposed to be a family guru and we worship him in that song. Who is the Mahaprabhu? What is the name of the Mahaprabhu? Vallabhachari. Vallabhachari? Oh, tremendous. Now, what is the name of the Mahaprabhu? Are you Vallabhachari? Are you Vallabhachari? Are you Vallabhachari? Are you Vallabhachari? Mahaprabhu is Vallabhachari? Yes. He's supposed to be a family guru. He was a great realized soul. You see, you should get it in no time in the name of Vallabhacharya. Put your hands like this. Ashtachap, was he the Ashtachap? Yeah. Oh, tremendous. Ha! Huh. <laughs> what it? Yes. Are you feeling now? No. Not yet. 
You should. Vallabhacharyas are great. They are very great people if they follow it properly. But I can't think anything. She has got cold, that's why I issued this kachi. And that is Vallabhacharya's chakra himself, you see. Yes, that's the chakra of Vallabhacharya itself is kachi. Ah. He was great. They are called as Vaishnavas. Yeah. <laughs> this was Krishna? Ha. I'm doing his work only. This is all Vaishnava Panth. But we don't do anything like that. What he said, I'm doing it. You see? It's not only worshipping him, but you have to become what he said. To be Vaishnava Janas. Yeah, but then you just have to be nice to other people. Huh? You don't have to sit and do this. What is it? <laughs> I mean, I feel you can become Vaishnav Jan by being nice to people. I mean, by not being nasty, by not you, being No, 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 no. You have to become a realized soul. You must have Atma Sakshatkar. You read him? Do you read him or not? You read not him. so much. Uh, then you read him, then you will understand. What I said... My no, no. You must read him, then you will know what I am saying is nothing but what he says. You have to get Atma Sakshatkar. Yeah, you but see? Then I feel this is not the way to get it. I mean, Atma Sakshatkar is something I have to get with my, within myself. Then why do you need Vallabhacharya? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I don't know, but I don't need some sort of a community thing to start feeling in myself. I don't think so. You think I because think really whatever you think is from your own knowledge, no? you don't know anything about no, it, do you? I don't know, but then, then better, better not think about it because you don't yeah, know. But then what I have been taught about Vallabhacharya, I mean, what I have been taught by, brought up by my family and my grandmother, I mean, they never... But did they get Atma Sakshatkar, your family people? I don't know. Then how do you say that? They are not authority. Those who have got Atma Sakshatkar are only the authority, na? Yeah, but how do I know who's got Atma Sakshatkar? I mean, I don't know. But at least you try to find out. Yeah. So we are trying to help you. We are not going to gain anything out of you, are we? No. Then why not try? I feel it's more personal. I feel it can't be done in a public way like this. All right. I mean, whatever the Atma Sakshatkar is, it has to be, I don't know, I mean, maybe on personal meditation. I mean, you I see, believe in meditation. If you believe in Vallabhacharya, then you are telling just against him because he never believed in this kind of a thing. It was all public. Because he was a great believer of Sri Krishna. And not only but Sri Krishna did Sahaja Yoga even with gopis and ras and everything. All open in the public, he didn't do it sitting down in the rooms. All right? <laughs> ah. So this is the wrong idea you have got. They all have got it, I think, except for these two. She has, she has touched, but no use. You see, she, she's neither a full Vallabhacharya or not halfway. So if you are educated I'm not in that, to be yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm just an ordinary simple person who came here to find out. I'm yes, yes. But what I'm saying, to find out, you must accept certain things, isn't it? No, why should I accept anything? No, 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 I'm not saying, no, 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 no. I'm mm -hmm. saying you have come to find out, all right? Yeah. If you go to a school or to university, you have to find out, not by giving your own ideas. I think is not there. What I think you listen to it, isn't it? I think whatever you think is different. That's no, the point. That doesn't prove that I mean you are better than me or I am worse than you, is it? I'm, I may not be better than you or maybe worse, whatever it is, but you have come to listen to me, na? Yeah. I have not... I find that this whole thing is a little... I All right, so you... If you, I would just listen to you and think about it and if I thought your thoughts had something to give me, but I think this sort of a physical exercise is not worth Is it? Yeah, because it doesn't bring up anything in me. You see, what I am saying, it is not in you only, but others have got it. You are the only one who hasn't got that it. All right, so I it's all right. Yeah, we, that's all right, but if you haven't got it, then you haven't got it. We can't help it also, we can't help you. Yeah. We are sorry, that's all we can say. But they have got it, and all of them have got it. Not you haven't got it, he hasn't got it either. Yes, it's a Vishuddhi. <laughs> you see, both of them haven't got it, that's all. Only two persons haven't got, so what can we do about it? What about her? Is she all right? You see, if it doesn't work out, what can we do? We can't help you. No, but I'm not blaming that's, all, that's all right. That's all. We can't work on you. This is not possible. No, I don't want anybody to work on me. I want to work myself. 
All right, so you go ahead and work it on yourself, all right? All right, may God bless you. All right, go. Easy to, to be worked on. I saw an Indian, I knew what was going to happen. They are very uprooted. They do neither know the Indian things nor know English things. You see, nothing in between. That's the problem. Immigrants. They neither know the Indian things. I mean, she is a Vallabhacharya. I mean, anybody. We have so many disciples from Vallabhacharya. I mean, so many have come. And she doesn't know what it is. Can you believe it? She doesn't know what Kundalini is. Nothing. Vallabhacharya has talked of nothing else but this. How can you believe she is from Vallabhacharya? Just keeping a photograph of somebody is not that. You must know what he's talking about. So that's what it is. They are very uprooted people in England. Very uprooted. They don't know Indian music, they don't know anything. Just they wear Indian dresses, that's all. Is it all right? Center heart he has. He has center heart. Well, he'll be all right. He'll be all right. Just you put your hand. Do you get asthma sometimes? Do you get? Slime, huh? Slime. Yes, that's it. All right. Now, you just come here, be, sit before me. I must cure your asthma. Oh, oh. He's asking, Mother. Huh? He's asking to have it. I would very much like to have something. You would like to. It will work out. He has a right Vishuddhi. He has a right Vishuddhi. Just turn around. Mother, See? He says he has a, a, a difficult relationship with his father. Father also? He feels that it comes from right heart. Mm -hmm. What is it? What's the relationship? Um, it's not close. My father left home when I was ten, and I still see him, but I don't have a natural father-son relationship. All right, you just forgive him, all right? Just to help me out, you just you turn around. You turn around, I have to see your back, all right? You just forgive your father. No, no, right we should be, he has only right, yes, yes. Just forgive. Hmm? What's it? She's feeling tingling? That's, that will happen. Little tingling, are you feeling? Hmm? What's she feeling? All right, good, very good, you are excellent. Not easy for hypnosis, I must say, it's great. You are a great person to overcome it, eh? Hold your breath. Leave it, leave it now. Now hold your breath again. Now leave it. Mm, is he better? He'll be only singled out, you better give him realization. <laughs> he wants it, no doubt. Better now? Is it better here? No. Hold your breath again. Mm, leave it. Better now? Did you forgive your father? Better now. Again hold it. Leave it. Lighter. All right? You're lighter now? What's the problem still? <laughs> right, we should be. All right, I'll correct him. He should get it. <laughs> Are you better, my child? Now, hold it. Leave it. 
limit. Got it now. Better? See now how you feel. Better now? No. Give your head into my hands. Absolutely loose. Just give it loose, please. Sorry. Sorry. All right. Better, aren't you? Yes, that's good. Good? Good, good. You see that golden door business has worked, eh? Hmm. All these are divine names they are using. So you can just ask the question and you can just neutralize them. Except for witchcraft or something like that. It's good now. Are you feeling better now? Hmm. You must attend all my programs, all right? And bring some sugar, white sugar, can you? Yeah. You don't take any sugar at all. Don't take any. You don't? I do uh, have a little. Yeah, you bring some sugar, all right? White sugar. Mm. And I'll vibrate it for you. See, you, what you, you have a liver and you have weak gloves. Mm. You require to be looked after. No, it's better now. You feel the heat of my hand now? Mm. Huh? She, she's better. It's good. <laughs> all right, may God bless you. Now, to look after your health, first of all. Hmm? Mm. For that, bring some sugar tomorrow and some water. All of you, when you come to see me, please bring some sugar and some water. I'll vibrate it for you. It will give you a better liver and a better, uh, what you call, the whole system will improve with that water. Hmm? Hmm. How is he? It's still... It's still... Little bit, little bit start. Left Swadishta and still left Agya and left Swadishta. No? All right, let him come down. Let's see. Now come. Let's come. Now we'll see your evolution part, all right? Turn round, turn round. Now sit down comfortably. Push your legs further. Now what do you study? Physics. Physics. <laughs> Very skeptical physics. Graham's laws, is it? Which one is? Oh, God. Releasing now. Come in. Let's see. Pedro, come. Ah, better. Mm. The whole muscle is he has yes, gone yes. into a tension. I, I, I think he has also a little bit of this sort of a spondylitis stuff. What he said is correct, you see, that if there's something wrong with the bone, then it stops. <laughs> really? He said what he said is about him. It's a fact, you see. No, better. Seat is coming. Yes. Hmm. Better? Yes, better. Ask him to keep his eyes open. Hmm. Now you know where is Buddha within us, do you know or not? Do you know? Where does he settle down? All right. No, no. Yeah. No, no. Just there. 
Ha. You better now. Isn't it? Are you feeling the cool breeze? Good. It's much better. But uh, you better bring some oil also if possible, all right? Some oil. Mm. Paraffin oil? Little paraffin oil. Mm. Eat. This little bit less. Liver. Mm. Mm, now better. Now better. It's liver. Liver and this. Right, we should look at that. <coughs> so now, what's the program next one? When? Where? Louis? All right. How far is it? It's only about five miles from here. Right, should we go? What time? It's 7.30 the program, Mother. Oh. So you have some time for rest. Oh, rest. <laughs> <laughs> rest is the word not for me. <laughs> ah, all right? I think so. What about you? Are you feeling? Feel anything? No. No, in the head he's a little bit cooler. See now, it's not so hot. Mm -hmm. Better now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, we should. Hmm. Better now? Just do your eyes like that. Like that. Okay. Thrice. Once more. Better. Yeah. You too. Let you also do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Press your eyes very hard. And then there's a pressure on the eyes. Ah, now. He's not yet, you see, he should be so bad. No, you don't think. No, he won't be. We are feeling it. We've started feeling, I mean, little wee bit. Imagine this girl, Vallabhacharya's disciple. Now, can you imagine? What a waste! What a waste, you see? These people, when they come here, they think it's like a cinema actor, they put the Vallabhacharya's photograph in the house, I think. That's all. Horrible. I think all immigrants must be given up as lost. Ah, now. Better? Open up. Hmm? I feel it much better. He doesn't feel it. <laughs> he doesn't feel it, all right. In the hand? Now, you turn around. Turn around, let's see. The hands. Now, they're cool down. They're cool down. Now, what you do is to say in your heart, Mother, I forgive everyone. You must learn to forgive. Or everyone. Mm -hmm. See. Put your left hand towards me. Now, like that. Now, say. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's very subtle, you see. No, but say it sincerely. Mm -hmm. You get constipation. No. 
Mm. It's hot, hot. Now, how are you feeling? Maybe this is slightly cold, but... Cold or not? You have to feel this the hand, breeze. This hand, only this hand. Huh? Only this hand. In this hand you're feeling? Maybe. You feel more when you raise air in front of it. You're feeling warmer here? No. Huh. What did you say? What are you feeling Maybe in this hand? Maybe cool. that's hmm? cold. That's cold. Cold. And this one is warmer? Oh, well, no, that's just normal. Almost normal. This is cooler. Pay attention, see if it does anything we are feeling the good ways. Mm. On the head is all right. Not yet fully broken. Mm. It's quite a lot. Mm. Mm. See the difference in both the hands, you see? The color. Mm. There's an imbalance. See? There's an imbalance. This hand is not so much used, this is used too much. All right. So this one is frozen and while this one is exhausted. Because you think too much. All right? I'd like to think so. <laughs> you think that. <laughs> it's interesting, isn't it? Work too hard with your right side, so it's absolutely shaking you. Left to the right, you put him left to the right. It's better now improving here, see the color. Can you see? The color is reddish here, it has to move. It's all white. You see the difference? You can see it yourself. You see, it has to happen. Unless it is happens fully, see, we won't be satisfied, neither you will be satisfied. Better now, I think. Mm, now? Mm. Left is now. Don't feel guilty about it. Are you feeling guilty about something? Don't feel guilty. Don't feel guilty. Don't feel guilty. All right. Left? Now don't feel guilty. What are you feeling guilty about? Hmm? What are you feeling guilty? I'm not so feeling guilty about anything. You think there's something wrong with you? No. No, no, no. Now you just say, just for my sake, you just say in your heart, Mother, I am not guilty. May God bless you. How are you? Very well. All right. Just say that. Mother, I am not guilty. Just say in your heart. Still, what I still say. What's that? <laughs> huh? Slightly, right or the left? The left is definitely cooler. Better. Always like better. Is it more sensitive? It, does it feel anything? Left. Right up, um, no anything. tingling or anything unusual. Nothing tingling, are you? No. Okay. Mm. 
on the head, you see, drops down. You see, that's the thing is, you better tie it up. It drops down. It's not here now anymore. It was there. Okay. It drops down. Side is the left side there. Let's see. Oh, now see. Just say that gave me my realization seven times in your heart. You have to ask. It's your freedom. Ask, otherwise I can't go. You no, ask, no, right? no, no. In your freedom, you have to ask. Very slight, very slight it is. Now we have to work on you again, all right? You have to come again, you have to work on you. See, you have used your right side too much, too much thinking, too much thinking. I mean, without any rhyme and reason, you see, just go on thinking. The whole thing is filled with it. But you come again, you know, again, you work on. But now you watch me. Are you thinking anything? Now watch me without thinking. Let's see. You just watch me without thinking. Let's see. If you can do it. Now? No. Thinking or not? Not much. Not much. Again, let's try. That's a good idea. Now, forgive, 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 forgive everyone. Forgive, forgive, forgive. Now then. This is the screw, which is just moving all the time, sort of thing. It has to be fixed. See, a loose screw, we call it. Now, what do you say? Now try to think, let's see. Can't think. Want me to try it? No, see. Try without thinking. Let's see if you can watch me. So much at this young age. Lost my roommate. Hmm? What are you worried about? I'm not worried about anything at the moment. Hmm? Not worried about anything. The what? Nothing. I'm not worried. Nothing in particular. Mm. Just like that. Mm. Now see. Just something to do. With too much brain activity. Mm. See. Now let's say okay.
let's come up to this. We have to take it here, all right? So we'll do it next time. Mm -hmm. okay. Come to my programs, all right? What, I've seen it? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. Now we're going to Louis, then we are coming back to Brighton. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now all of you are invited mm -hmm. to come and see me. Where is our ashram? Sorry. Just tell them the address. It's all. <laughs> Just it's quieter. You will feel quieter <laughs> gradually. You see, the, it doesn't rise above Agya somehow. So, but it's gone up. That's a good thing. So you give them the address, I think. Talk to them. Fix it up. And uh, also, I think it would be nice for those who are... I think uh, let them come first then give them the book. Otherwise, they'll again start jag, 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 jag there. So better you let them come around. And uh, I think they are good, all of us. Let's come down. <laughs> you are all seekers. Do you realize that? As seekers of ages. Uh, that's what you have to fight. All right? That's your right to do. All right. May God bless you. Now you'll be all right also. Come along. Oh, this, uh, all right? This, <laughs> this center is a little problematic. All right? There's a problem in this center you have. And that's the center which is connected with your hands, all right? Because of that the sensitivity is less. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Makes no difference. If you have any questions with them, you can come to the ashram, you can find out about it. Hmm? Good. Better thing is to get it first and then ask questions. Because if you ask questions beforehand also, it can little bit. Hmm. Good. He's enjoying it. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh -huh. What did you do? Uh, it's Good. Very simple thing. Mm. But this you don't give to them? No. No, no. Not just now. No, 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 no. Let them first get their realization. No, no, no. This is too much for them. When, about after three, four days, you give them. As soon as they start thinking, there will be a reaction of mind will be working. Let them do it little later, not now. All right? Huh. Gradually. Huh. It's like giving the car in the hands of a person who just sat in the car. <laughs> mm. No, we have to do it gradually, gradually. I, it's very good, though, yeah. very good, but gradually. Mm. But the photo he can have. He doesn't have? The photo, he can have your photo. All right, you can have my photo. Those are your photos. It's all right. Photo is all right. Photo is all right. Hmm. You don't felt it as yet? It's certainly felt it, but it's sort of died off a bit. Hmm? There's still a lot to work out. Oh. But it's felt it in the most of my point. You see, here is a very important center which has 11 destructive powers. You see, and all these so called cults, what they do, they build up a barrier. You see your hands. You put your hand. You can see it. You see, across. It's like a bridge, all right? It's all that. You see? That's the barrier. And we have to break it. And for that, you have to do something about it. Can you ask him to get some lemon and cheese? Also, you can give them photograph and tell them. If you think, what do you say, Jason? You can give them the thing with these people? All right, these people. But those who have not felt cool breeze, you don't give. All right? For those who have, you can give Not felt, you can give Slowly. Right. This is John Norris, he's been coming for a couple of months now or so, and he's done a lot of work with their posters, photocopies. Oh, I see. I could see that. That's great. <laughs> so, how are you? Hmm. Work very hard? You see. What work? <laughs> uh, as a writer and publisher. Right. Right. Yeah. Mm. Come and see me, is it? 
I think you need some vibrations on your heart, Ruka. Hmm? Was you working too hard, I think. Must pull down your heart. Hmm? That's important. That's all. You are all right. Otherwise, but there's too much work and extraction of the energy from the heart is too much. So I'll vibrate it. Hmm? All right. May God bless. Very nice to meet you. All right. Very nice meeting you all of you. Thank you very much. And I hope you look after yourselves and you come and see me again and get it for yourself. It's your own. Just I'm like a banker, you see. And your checks are with me. I have to just cash them. I have nothing to get out of it. Nobody pays me anything. I can tell you this much. <laughs> Except for the joy I have. All right? That's the greatest thing. Wow. Did you take down their names and addresses? You have to take down their names and addresses. Somebody from Brighton should do it. Take down their names and addresses so that it's easier for me to pay attention. And tell them to bring their photographs next time when they come and see. It's possible. It was fun. I liked it. Yes. Good, sweet and small and nice. So.